I love the bush. The forests of WA are some of the most beautiful ecosystems found anywhere on the planet. And if you do live in the hills, you're very lucky. But this idyllic lifestyle comes at a price. This gorgeous bushland, so unique, is also incredibly fire flammable. And it can, as we all know, burst into flames and explode to create some of the most catastrophic wildfires found anywhere on the globe. But living safe in the hills of WA takes so much more than blind luck. It takes some clever fire safe designs and principles. You can start moving to a safer bush block experience by thinking of that 20 to 30 metre area around your home, the bush garden, as the fire safe zone. And that means everything in the garden is carefully screened and chosen to make sure it reduces that risk of fire. A lot of people have this idea that all plants are going to explode into flames with a fire, but that simply isn't true. There's a diversity of responses to fire, and we're very lucky that there's a small and select group of plants that can actually slow down an advancing fire. We call these fire retardant plants, and I've come to beautiful Xanthoria, my favourite, to have a look at some of these plants and how they can work in your garden. I've got some amazing fire retardant plants here, just a few samples. So beautiful native hibiscus, fantastic windbreaks about that size, very, very good. We've got the native frangipani, medium sized tree, again, fire retardant. The lily pillies, fantastic plants, quite drought tough and really good at slowing down embers. So look at these, we've got the native pig face and the myoporum, fantastic. If embers land on them, slow them right down. And of course, even things like the kangaroo paws. Now, these are not miracle plants. If you're not gonna keep the fuel loads down and keep them neat and trimmed and keep them watered over the summer, then they're not gonna be able to protect you. But as part of a well-managed property, these can definitely be part of your armory to keep you safe this summer. Fire retardant plants are not the end of the story. The enemy of a bush block is large amounts of fuel. And when it comes to fire risk, it doesn't get any better than this make sure you get in there and slash long dead weeds. And while you're at it, look at where your fuel loads build up and it doesn't get any more specky than this. So if you can, reduce those fuel loads and choose the right plants. This is gonna go a long way to making your bush lifestyle that much safer and more rewarding this summer.